guys welcome back to my channel and as you can see by the title today is gonna kind of be a talking video where I'm really gonna just kind of talk and I feel like I never do this on my channel so I've been wanting to kind of bring you guys new content and I've been trying to decide like what exactly I want that to be like what what kind of content I want to bring to you guys um, my hair is blowing because I have the fan on so I hope you guys can't hear it but if you do I'm sorry it's hot in my room okay before we get into this video of course be sure to hit that thumbs up button and hit the subscribe button like what do you what do you what are you waiting for you know be join the family um and you get to see my face every time i post a video and of course be sure to turn on that bell so you get my post notification so every time i post a video of some sort you will be the first one to be able to see it so be sure to click that button <laughs> this is going to be like i said a different type of video that i don't really normally do on my channel i don't think i don't really have a specific criteria of videos that i post on my channel but i feel like most of them are pretty similar they all kind of correlate together but this is going to kind of be just a video of me kind of encouraging you guys you know and kind of talking about my experiences and things that i've been going through so yeah um without further ado let's get this video started a disclaimer i am such a private person like i'm so private when uh i have just things going on in my life whether i'm stressed over something or about something or some type of a situation may be going on that i have to handle or whatever the case may be i'm such a private person um i'm someone who quote unquote suffer in silence i'm not someone to go around telling people or telling people but yeah i'm not someone to go around telling people like being like yo this is going on and i'm stressed like i'm i'm, I'm tired <laughs> i'm not the type of person at all so um lately i've had to kind of get out of my shell of that i've been trying my best to really get out of that um and kind of mature in in that in, the, in that sense you know kind of learn to say like it's okay that I'm stressed like it's okay to say that I'm stressed like it's okay to maybe be going through something and to want to talk to somebody and vent and let people let someone know you know how you're feeling so that has been one of my biggest struggles um so far up until this point in my life as being a 19 year old that has been one of my biggest setbacks I think and I was I'm saying it's a setback because sometimes if I'm sure there's I know many people that are in my personal life that are just like me like in this way You know, they're very private. They don't really like to go to people for help They don't really like to tell people what's going on in their life Or if they're sad or if they need something whatever the case may be so I know I'm not the only one that does this or that This happens to so that's why I wanted to make this video because I know so many people like close my some of my close friends I do the same thing and I I hate that they do it, so I know they hate that I do it. So, I'm trying to, to like, you know, like I said, like, grow and just kind of do better at at communicating with people, you know. Um, so, I don't know where I was trying to go with that. I forgot what the point I was trying to make was. I think that it's so important for us as young people um, to learn that it's okay to need help to want to talk to someone you know it doesn't mean that you're crazy it doesn't mean that you're i feel like that just means that you're normal like i feel like it justifies you being human the fact that you may want to vent to someone or need to vent to somebody and i think it's so important it's it's more important to have people that you can vent to you know um like i said i'm a very private person so i don't like to tell everybody my business i don't i i, I don't like to tell everyone my business what may be going on in my life i'm very private like i don't like to just go around telling everyone what's going on so with that being said um i have i have had to find specific people that i trust enough in my life that i could go to to vent to you know sometimes you don't want to vent to your parents sometimes and you know i love my parents if i'm sure they're watching this hey y'all you know i love my parents and i'm close with them and everything and, but sometimes you you want advice or you want to be able to talk to other people So it's so important to have other people in your life besides your parents your parents should definitely I think 
be a source of encouragement, a source of stability in your life for sure. But sometimes parents don't really always take things well. And that's that's just life. That's everyone's parents. Like, I think that's just what happens when you become a parent. You, you don't really want to hear that your child may be just in general, maybe maybe depressed or may have anxiety or maybe feeling sad or going through something with a boyfriend or a girlfriend or whatever the case may be. Like parents sometimes don't always accept things like that well, you know? Because they raised you. They're like, you're supposed to, you know, you're supposed to know this stuff or you're supposed to know how to handle situations like that. Or they or they wanna come and kinda like take over your situation. And you're like mom, dad or whoever the whoever the person is like I'm trying to grow so I need to figure things out on my own and I know I've had to tell my my mom is like my ride or die like she is like this and she is like my number one supporter one my dad of course too but my mom and I you know we're closer just because she's a female as well um so she's always been my number one my number one like if something was going on at school my mom, I call her Pam Jam, PJ. Pam Jam is going to the school. Like, she's she's number one. My dad is right behind her. He's he's standing next to her while she's handling whatever she needs to handle. But as I've, got, as I've been getting older and growing, I've had to tell her, like, Mom, like, let me make my decisions. Let me kind of try to figure it out a little bit, you know? But she loves me so much. She's like, I've been through this. Like, I know what's going on. And I'm like, I know you know. And I, I take your advice and I listen to it and I understand it. But at the same time, as a young adult, as a young lady growing into myself, my own... I'm out of breath because I just ran up the steps. Uh, as a young lady growing into myself and just kind of figure out who, figuring out who I want to be and who I am and what my purpose is... I have to deal with situations on my own and you can't always be the number one you know you're always there for me and I'm always gonna come to you and you and my you and daddy <laughs> I'm always gonna come to you guys to tell you guys what's going on but sometimes I have to make my own choices and parents sometimes do not want to hear that because I know my mom gets so annoyed at me because she's like you're just you're not listening to me like and at the end of the day I'll probably do what she told me to do because I'm like that is smart but it's just like I want to make the choice, the decision and the choice. Am I gonna listen to my mom or do I want to do it a different way? So I know I'm rambling, but like I was saying, your parents should be definitely a source of stability and uh, support and you know encouragement. But like I said, it's great to have others, other people outside of your parents, outside of family that you can go to, you know, people maybe that are like family that you really feel comfortable with, you know, I'm lucky that I have at least three people that are not family, that are not my blood, that I can go to and talk to about like just whatever I need to kind of get off my chest, you know, um, and for me personally, everyone is different when it comes to religion and everything, but sometimes I need to just be, I need someone to just pray with me, pray for me, for whatever I'm going through to just remind me, you know, that I can, like, whatever the situation may be, I can handle it, you know? I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. You avail me. So it's good to just have extra people that you can go to. I am so specific, like, I'm so picky with people that I talk to. So when I find people that I'm like, yo, like, oh, my God, this is great. Like, this person is always there for me. Like, no judgment zone. Just, like, giving... Sometimes you don't even need advice. Sometimes I don't want advice. Sometimes I literally just want someone to sit there and just listen to me talk. Like, y'all listening to me right now. I, this is, like, sometimes you just need someone to sit there and just listen and just hear you out, hear your rants, hear whatever craziness you're saying, you know? And that's okay. Like, you have to be able to realize and, and notice, like, that's okay. And that's what I've had to come to the, the realization of. And I'm still coming to it. Trust me, I am preaching to myself right now as well because I am not 100% there yet. But I have grown from before, for sure. Um, It's a battle. It's a battle because I'm like, no, I don't want to tell anyone. Oh, I need to, but I don't want to. It's hard. Like, it, it is hard. But I'm definitely growing into myself. And I just want to encourage anybody who maybe 
having similar uh, situations or is like me and real private and real low key when it comes to like problems in their life or problems within themselves, whatever the case may be, you know, I want to encourage you that you can do it. Okay. Whatever I keep hitting the camera, whatever you're going through, whatever trials, tribulations, whatever life may look like right now, I'm telling you, it's not going to end like that. Okay. Sometimes we have to, I was on Instagram the other day. This is kind of off topic but on topic i was on instagram the other day and i saw someone posted a quote i'm a humongous quote girl like if you look in my room i'm not gonna show y'all right now because it's a little messy but if you look in my room i have quotes everywhere like i have one that says remember why you started like and that's one of my favorite quote i just i i'm a i love quotes i love things like that so anyways i saw a quote on instagram the other day and steve harvey said this quote and it was um why go through why why go through hell to stop in hell you go through hell to get through it you don't want to stop there so whatever you may be going through whatever your quote unquote hell is right now in your life your chaos your chaotic crazy life whatever the case may be don't stop there like push through and um you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna get through it i just stuttered like crazy but you're gonna get through it so just keep pushing i just want to encourage anybody who is like me because i've recently i've i've met so many people that are the same and i'm like dang like we can't we can't all be like this like we can't all be super you know quiet with our feelings and stuff like that we can't all do it so i think that it may just be i don't know i don't think it's a it's a specific person like i don't think it's just young people i don't think it's just maybe just white people just black people i think it's just people in general i think a lot of people are just really private like really just kind of um to themselves but i know a lot of young people that are i know more young people that are like that than older people for me personally i'm sure there are some older people who are just kind of the same but i know a lot of young people my age older and even younger that are like super quiet and it's not good because a lot of young people suffer in silence and a lot that's i mean a lot of people are depressed that are around you you know like i've had to really wake up and like realize like I don't want to be, I don't want to be depressed. I don't want to be sad. I don't want to have anxiety. I think anxiety is one of the biggest things that I struggle with. It's definitely anxiety because I think sometimes when you keep things in, you, you just stress yourself out because you didn't let it out. So definitely try, I've been trying to express myself more in whatever way I can, um, so yeah, that's the reason I wanted to make this video. I know it was kind of, it's kind of all over the place. But the point of this video is for me to encourage anyone who is just like me, who is really suppressed with their feelings or keeps it inside and kind of doesn't want to express themselves to people, to let you know that it's okay. It's okay to cry. I've had to learn this because I am so, anyone who like, personally knows me like not just knows me through social media or just from like seeing me anyone who really like knows me like has you know consistent conversations with me knows I am not someone who likes to cry in front of people or in general and I like to be very I try to be extremely strong I really do I really and I I I know it. I know I try to be so strong and I try to put on a strong face for everyone. And I've had to learn that it's okay if I need to cry. Like, that's okay. You need to let it out. You need to, you need to let it out. Because if you don't, it, it builds up. And that's when anxiety comes. And that's when depression can come. And that's when you just you just don't feel happy with maybe yourself or with your life or whatever the case may be. So I think that you just need to learn, you know, it's okay to do these things. You know, everyone has to cry at some point. Everyone has to let it out. Whatever way you choose to let it out or whatever your escape method may be, then do it. You know, for me, I have a lot of things that I like to do that help me to just 
calm down. You know, when I'm when I'm feeling stressed or if I'm having a little anxiety attack, whatever the case may be, uh, I like to just relax. <laughs> I like to sleep. You know, sleep is a good escape sometimes. Sometimes you just need a nap. And then when I wake up, I'm like, girl, you were stressing over nothing. Like, you just need to, you was just tired. So sometimes you literally can just, sometimes I just need to eat. Like, once I eat, I'm good. I'm like, listen. You know, uh, you were just hungry. You're good. You know, you're good. Like, and if you're someone who has maybe something that's a little more severe, maybe even try. I've even considered this myself. Maybe you want to try therapy, you know, and I think this is a stigma with therapy, especially, especially, especially in the black community. We are so scared to go to therapy we are so scared we're so scared to say we're in therapy or we, we we need to talk to somebody and i think that is horrible and that's probably a reason that i'm so private because it's just so many stigmas in the black community that if you're not in it you like if you're not african-american or if you're not black even not even just african-american black people in general caribbean people African Americans, whatever you are, okay. If you got some melanin, honey, you know the deal, okay. Um, we are just so scared to express hurt or express that we we need to take care of our mental health. Mental health is so important. There are people that are five, ten years old committing suicide over bullying, over depression, over anxiety. Like this is not a joke. This is not something that we can just like brush over the show. No, we've brushed it along for long enough at this point. Like so many lives have been lost. I just think we need to really just wake up and smell the roses and just realize that it's okay to talk to somebody. It's okay to express yourself, you know. And for anybody who's really, really going through it, I just want you to know I love you. And even if I don't know you personally, it does not matter. I still love and you are you're worth it. You're worth it. You're you're important. And if you guys ever need someone to talk to or if you ever just want to vent, whatever the case may be, of course you can always um DM me or whatever. Like I'm here. I'm here to to encourage others because I know I've been there when I felt lost and I had people that were there for me. So now it's my job to re reciprocate so now you know go out and help others that may need it you know because i understand the feeling i've been there before and it's not easy you don't want to feel alone you know nobody deserves to feel alone nobody nobody so um yeah that was a lot that was that was that was. i really hope i really 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 hope that i just encourage anyone who may be feeling like they're on really really hope that I just encouraged anyone who may be feeling like they're on their last leg, like they can't, they can't physically, they can't make it. I want you to know that you can, you can, you know, like you can make it and don't give up. Don't give up. Keep pressing on, keep fighting. You know, like I said, if you guys ever need someone to talk to, or if you ever want to talk, DM me, message me, like the time doesn't matter. Um, I'm here. I'm here to talk. I'm here for you guys. Um, just like people are there for me, you know? So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope that, like I said, I encouraged someone. If I encouraged one person, I am satisfied. I am so beyond happy. You know, I just hope that you guys realize it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. <laughs> like, it's human. It's human nature. We have to express ourselves and we have to go through things in order to come out on the end stronger than we were before well my chair <laughs> someone that i'm close with someone that's constantly there for me always she always she's been telling me this for like weeks now and i want to share with you guys and i guess it's a quote as well like i said i'm a big quote person but um it's God makes you uncomfortable when he wants you to grow. So if you're going through something and you feel like there's no way out or you feel like, oh my God, like I'm having anxiety because this is just too much for me to handle right now. God makes you uncomfortable when he wants you to grow. 
So it's time to grow. It's time to elevate. It's time to just become a better version of yourself, you know? And you need to take whatever steps you feel are necessary for you to get there, for, to, for you to get to your best self, for you to live your best life. I'm living my best life. That's my song. Ain't going back and forth with you. <laughs> Recently, I, in my personal life, have distanced myself from so many people because I realized that not everyone that's in my life wants the best for me. Not everyone in my life cares. Just because someone is a cousin or a friend, a quote-unquote friend, you know, someone in your family, that doesn't mean that they care about you genuinely, you know. And the amount of time that you've known someone does not mean, again, that they care about you. So I encourage anyone who is in, and I said this, I posted something like this on my Instagram about a week or two ago. I encourage anyone who is in a toxic friendship, toxic relationship to exit left, exit left. Like whether it's your friend, whether it's your boyfriend, your girlfriend, whatever, you deserve to be treated like a queen, like a king, whatever is necessary. Okay. So anyone who is treating you less than that, they need to go. Either they need to go or you need to go because we're not we're not taking it for the rest of 2018. You know, maybe we took it a few months ago. You know, maybe we took it in uh, July. But listen, honey, it's September. So we're moving forward. We're pushing on to bigger and better things. And yeah, like nobody deserves to be treated like crap. So just keep that in mind. Okay. Okay. Oh, hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up let me know if i should do more videos like this this was really just kind of me uh just kind of talking and just just telling you guys you know that you're gonna be okay for whoever encouraging whoever may have needed it for today um be sure to follow all my socials. Everything's going to be in the description box for you guys. And like I said, I'm here if you guys need to talk. And if you guys want to talk, I'm here. We can talk in the comments. If you want to talk privately, you can DM me. I promise you I will respond. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you for watching. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. It was kind of rambling but uh <laughs> i hope you guys enjoyed it and i will see you in my next one stay positive stay beautiful stay uplifted i love you and jesus loves you too i'll see you in my next video <laughs>